There's a popular Bible verse that you've probably seen promoted somewhere before, maybe at a sporting event or somewhere else. It's John 3.16. People think it means God loves the world. Wrong. What does God say about loving the world? He says, do not love the world. He says the world operates on the three lusts, which aren't from him. He also says that the world is run by the devil. The next thing people think John 3.16 means is, God loves you. Wrong again. You're misunderstanding what God means by love. How does God show love? By giving his word. God showed love to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob by giving them his word. Then God showed love to the nation Israel by giving them his word through Moses and the prophets. Then God showed love to all nations by coming into the world as the word of God in flesh. God is love, so God shows love by giving himself, and he is the word. There's a third misunderstanding about John 3.16, and it's this. People think it means he died for me. Wrong again. He died for those who believe in his name. Haven't you noticed what Jesus says just a couple verses after John 3.16? Remember, he is the Word of God. In fact, that is his name. So, when Scripture says you need to believe in him and believe in his name, it means you need to believe in the Word of God. So what's the problem? The problem is that many people, the people saying he died for me, aren't believing in his name, the Word of God. Instead, they're believing in the things of man, things they didn't get from or learn from God. If you're still eating from man's tree of knowledge, you are sinning against God by believing men and their ways and their teachings. You're supposed to believe God and His Word alone. And go to Him for His interpretation of His words, all 66 books. Be alone with the Bible and ask him to teach you.